all of you. A very good morning to all of you. I am Prakash Kumar Soni, Assistant Professor, Faculty of Pharmacy. Today I am in front of you to present my topic on types of pharmaceutical dosage forms. Firstly, we should understand what are pharmaceutical dosage forms. Pharmaceutical dosage forms are essentially pharmaceutical drug products in form in which they are marketed for use, typically involving mixture of active drug components and non-drug components. Active drug components are the biologically or pharmaceutically active compounds which have therapeutic effect and excipients are the non-active components which are used to formulate the dosage forms. Basically or broadly the pharmaceutical dosage forms are classified into two classes or three classes solid dosage forms, liquid dosage forms and semi-solid dosage forms. These are the classifications based on their physical state. Firstly, we consider solid dosage forms. Under solid dosage forms, majorly those are divided into tablets, capsules, powder, granules, lozenges and suppository. Tablets are solid and unit dosage form in which drug substance, means active drug substance along with excipients are compressed into tablet form. Capsules are divided into two types soft gelatin capsules and hard gelatin capsules in capsules the drug substance in the form of powder are encapsulated in a gelatin shell third is powder powder are the conventional or very rarely used nowadays dosage form in which the drug is administered in the fine in the form of fine powders granules are the dosage forms which are prepared from the powder those are the aggregates of the powder by use of some binding agents the typical example of granules are eno the antacid granules fifth one is lozenges these are the solid dosage forms intended to be uh, kept in mouth and slowly they release the drug in the mouth cavity the typical example are strepsils. Last one among the solid dosage forms are suppositories. Suppositories are the solid dosage forms which are intended to be inserted into body cavities like rectum, vagina and urethra. Now we come to liquid dosage forms. As the name suggests, these are the uh, dosage forms which are liquid in physical state. First one is syrup. Syrup are viscous sweet uh, liquid dosage forms in which the drug is di dispersed or dissolved in the sweet base syrupy base next is elixirs elixirs are alcoholic hydroalcoholic solutions which are also uh, sweet but less viscous than the syrup next is suspension suspensions are dosage forms it is a biphasic dosage form or heterogeneous system in which insoluble solid matters are uniformly dispersed in a liquid medium. The very classic example is gelucil or digene suspension we usually take. Next is emulsion. It is also a biphasic liquid dosage form in which two immiscible liquids are used in which one liquid is uniformly dispersed into another. Next is mouthwash. Mouthwash is a liquid dosage form in which the active ingredient may be medicated or non-medicated along with some antimicrobial agents are prepared in the solution form which is intended to wash the mouth but strictly prohibited for internal use. Next is semi-solid dosage forms these all dosage forms are semi-solid in consistency first is cream then paste gel and ointment the cream as we know that it is a semi-solid dosage form in which it is basically uh, emulsion based maybe oil in water or water in oil the typical example is cold cream and vanishing cream next is paste paste is a semi-solid dosage form in which large amount of insoluble solid matters is present next is gel gel are transparent uh, semi-solid dosage form in which uh, water or aqueous phase is impregnated into cross-linked structure of the gelling agent 
and next is ointment it is also a semi solid dosage form relatively high in consistency and intended to be rubbed into the skin next we next we come to gaseous dosage form the typical examples are aerosols and inhalers in gaseous dosage form these are the preparations along with drug uh, by use of some propellant or uh, compressing agent sometimes gas uh, those are prepared or um, filled in a, a very unique uh, packaging system uh, and once we release the pressure the inside content comes out in the form of drops a droplet spray or fumes inhalers are also uh, gaseous dosage form in which uh, the drug comes out uh, from the inhalers uh, and they they go to the respiratory system or deep into the bronchi or bronchioles so this was very basic about some dosage forms of pharmaceutical dosage forms for the newcomer in pharmacy thank you very much